You've taken your screenshot and now it's time to add annotations. You do have two additional options right here at the very beginning. The first one is to resize your screenshot. If you keep this box checked for proportional, you'll notice when I change the width, it automatically changes the height, so it keeps this screenshot in proportion. So now I click resize and it has changed my size to a smaller image. I'm going to come up here and choose the undo so I can go back to how it was. The second option is the crop. Perhaps you took a screenshot of your entire desktop, but you only needed to have a certain section of it. So if you click on crop, you'll notice a little plus icon that comes up. Left click and drag the section that you want to capture and choose crop. So this is another option and now we're going to choose undo to get us back to where we were. Now I'm going to show you the different annotation tools that we see here. The pin, the rectangle circle, the arrow options, text, blur feature, and highlight. So in order to show you those, I'm going to clear everything off of this screen that I have already done. And I can do that by coming up here to the clear button. That's going to bring me back to how my screenshot was when I first started. So let's start first with the pin. This allows you to free write, draw right on top of your picture. You can come over here to the color and you can change the color. Now you'll notice you have to make sure that you're not on the one that you just drew before in order to get your little pin here to draw. You can also continue to change these colors. The final thing you can do is you can come and you can change the size of your pin tip. So maybe you want to make it larger. So that's how to use the pin feature. The next one is the rectangle and circle. By clicking on the drop down arrow, you see the two different options. So let's choose the rectangle. I'm going to change the width of the line to a little bit thinner. So you just see the plus icon, you left click and drag. If you decide that you want to move this rectangle, you can hover over it and you'll notice that the plus sign changes to four arrows. Then you can left click and drag. By selecting it, you'll see the dots around the corners. That allows you to change the size as well. And you need to make sure that it's selected like this if you want to change the color to a different color and you want to change the width of those lines. The arrows, you have four different options here. The first one is just a regular arrow. If you hover over this and get those four little arrows, you want to select it. That's what allows you to change the direction and the size of the arrow. And again, with it selected, you can also change the color. The next arrow is pretty cool. When you first draw, you're like, okay, what's the difference? It doesn't look very different until you see these dots. That's what allows you to change how the arrow looks and the shape of it. The next one is just a line. And the final one is a different shaped arrow. And again, you can select it and then change the size of the width. Text box is your next feature. So you select the A and you can just left click where you want to type your text box and type your words. With your words selected, you can come up and you can change the font to whatever different font you might want to have. You can change the color. You can change the size. Next to the size, you notice another little A. If I click on this, it's now going to change the background color. This works out great if you have a busy image and maybe you needed to put words over the top. So now you can see it drowns out that background. So that is a great feature there. Blur is a great feature to use um, when you want to cover up personal information, private information, especially if you're taking screenshots of things that might have student information in it. So you select the blur, you'll see that plus symbol again, put it where you want to put it and then left click drag and you can see that it will blur out anything that is in the background. The final option we're going to look at is the highlight. So let me first go ahead and just type some text right here on the page. I want to go ahead and change that background so it's not a colored background and it's just a regular font. So notice you're like, where'd my font go? If you left click off, now you'll see it. So now I'm going to choose the highlight. I'm going to change this background to a different color. And then I'm going to left click and you'll notice I have the paintbrush. Notice if I'm right on top of it, I have the arrow. So you do have to make sure you come a little bit off in order to highlight because it's basically you're putting layers on top of layers is what you're doing with annotation. 
This next section is only if you pay for Awesome Screenshot. So you'll notice if you click on this call out button, you'll notice down here at the bottom it says go to upgrade. So this is only available if you are going to pay for it. I use Awesome Screenshot every day and I do not use the paid version at all. So don't forget you have your color palette, you have to change the size of your pen or the width of your lines and arrows, you have the undo, redo, the clear everything button, the delete button is if you actually have something selected and then you want to delete it, you can use the delete on your keyboard or you can hit this trash can here and that will get rid of whatever item you selected. And then you have the zoom in and out because perhaps you have something that you know you need to really get in and blur just a certain little feature out or something like that or draw around something really tiny so you can use those features as well. When your screenshot is how you like it, you will click done in the upper right hand corner and this will bring you to your save window options. Before you click save, if you want to make changes, you can click on this back arrow in the upper left hand corner of your screenshot and that will bring you back to where you can make additional changes on your annotations. The next video will go over your options for downloading and saving your screenshot.